Rub up your engines! Here's a little interesting fact about cordless drills. This one comes with the battery, 20 volts. Comes with all these drill bits and screwdrivers and stuff on them. It's a decent drill. Now to be totally truthful, I've been using this Dewalt drill for ages. But it's a corded drill. I do high heavy duty work. And I like corded drills. I work in my garage here. I have electricity. I don't care about being cordless because I don't want the cordless stuff to run out. But if you're looking for a cordless drill, this Tech Life cordless drill, since it comes with all the drill bits, screwdriver bits, all that stuff, it's a decent drill and it costs about one third the Walt cordless one does. Is the DeWalt one better built? Yes, it is better built. There's no arguing that. But for light and medium use, this one is perfectly fine for most people. As you can see, it's 20 volt. It's got low speed for drilling screws. Then it's got high speed for drilling holes. And if you look here, it even has adjustable torque settings so you don't screw a screw in too far and strip stuff. And it even has cool LEDs so you can see what you're doing when you do your work. And yeah, as you're breaking it in, you can see little sparks from the brushes inside. They go away after you use it a while. Just shows that it is somewhat cheaper made, but it works perfectly fine for light and medium use. You gotta make a choice of what do you really need? I mean, if you really need something that's heavy duty, you're a professional carpenter or whatever, you're probably gonna go out and buy the DeWalt if you want a cordless one. But if you're doing around the house, working on your car every once in a while, this thing's perfectly fine. And regardless of what cordless drill you get, make sure you get the higher voltage ones like this 20 volt ones. The higher the voltage, generally the longer they last and the more power they have. And as you can see in my little test, it's not a really cheap lightweight one and it's not too heavy. It weighs about two pounds, nine ounces, almost two pounds, 10 ounces. Now I've tried out really cheap ones that were 20 something dollars and they were just too cheap. And like I say, if you want a real quality one, you can buy the DeWalt kit, but with the batteries and the bits and everything like this, you're gonna pay three times what you'll pay for this. And you might not need that for your do-it-yourself projects. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell. Maybe your car doesn't have it. Maybe your car doesn't have a tachometer now, or maybe your tachometer broke.